What's going on YouTube? Thank you for joining us. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button down below. We have officially rolled right into 2023, although it still feels like just another day here on the property. We are excited to see what this year has in store for us and we are really looking forward to uh, the progress that we're about to make here in the very, very short future. Weather today is uh, very overcast and just kind of crappy looking, but nonetheless, we cannot be sitting inside the house while there are things to be done out here. Um, I don't have a date yet, but very, very soon, we will be putting pigs inside this pig barn. And before we do that, we need to make sure that uh, we've got our water ready to go. And that is what we're gonna be doing today. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna build a hog watering nipple tree or something like that i think it'll come out just nice all right well some of you may or may not know but i absolutely despise plumbing electric is pretty cool because you can wire something up or you can run emt and put put um wire inside of it and heat you know a panel up or a building up whatever and uh, as long as you've made your connections properly you know you won't get any fireworks and whatnot but the damn energy don't leak out of the pipe it, it the wire doesn't like just leak out of the pipe if uh, you kind of you did it wrong you may blow something up or whatever it is may not have enough power but plumbing sucks because if the if the glue isn't set right or you know whatever too much pressure not enough time water goes everywhere so it will tell you immediately that you screwed up let's do some plumbing so i've got a one inch t to a that reduces down to three quarter i'm going to put me a three quarter inch valve i'll probably put it back on this side so it matches my one inch over here and then we're going to run into that run our pipe down into the ground and then tap into this three quarter inch um, PEX that we ran out to the pig barn. Well, so far so good. Had a few hiccups, but you know, that's uh, that's gonna happen. We are, we are, as you know it, not masters at what we do here, but merely uh, a jack of all trades, which is critical when doing a venture like we have here on this property. Being a jack of all trades will save you buku buku money i think we pride ourselves on that All right, one inch main line, three quarter inch valve, three quarter inch PEX, PEX to the barn. The hogs will have nice, cool, clean drinking water. So a hog nipple tree, what, uh, what comes to mind when I say those words, a hog nipple tree? Um, 
I'm not in uh, inventing the wheel here. We're just merely redneck engineering it to fit our standards. I want to leave some room for a few different pigs at one time to drink water because the goal is to have multiple sizes inside this pen at the same time. I want to give them the ability to drink water at the different stages of life. So a weaned pig, um, let's say up to 20, 30 pound ish, under 40 pound range, a feeder pig size is going to be obviously smaller. I'm using the fence as a reference than a full grown 250 pound, 300 pound hog that's going to go to market or a market weight pig. So on the last um, enclosure we did, I set everything up on a hose and then as the pigs got larger, we would move our hose, right? We would move our hose up and then the nipple would run through this section of the fence. And if they got bigger, we would move it up just a little bit more. When they were smaller, it was, it was down here somewhere. So what I'm thinking about doing is we're gonna run four nipples. We're gonna use this post uh, as a position to work off of and to tie to. I've got a mark here at 12 inches off the ground that they'll be standing in. I got another mark here at 24 inches off the ground. So my theory is it will bring, we'll convert it from three quarter inch to half inch. We'll run at this post. We'll put a cross in here to wrap around. And then we'll run up here, we'll put another cross to wrap around. And then on the inside of here, we'll have nipples at a 45 degree angle pointed down so that a pig can come up to this post on this side or a pig can come up to the post on this side and get them a drink of water. Alright guys, so what do y'all think? Let me know down in the comments on our hog nipple tree. Uh, I think for the most part it, it went pretty smooth. It started out a little rough. I uh, regained my composure and then was able to kind of get back on track and, and get it where I needed to be. On the inside, the part that's going to be sticking out where the nipples will uh, spin into. Um, I'm going to let those set up the way they are. They are um, strapped off against the 6x6 post. I'm thinking we're just going to keep an eye on it and see how much action it gets like scratching against or how much uh, biting the, the pigs end up doing to it. We've still got a ton of scrap wood from when we built the, the roof. So if I have to, I'll come back in and I'll layer up the, the pieces in between the pipes. You know, I could put a scrap right there in between the pipes on the 6x6, put another piece on top, another piece on the bottom. And then I can run a long board across it, you know, giving giving them pretty much only that would give them something like this. You know, they would only have the very the very end of the uh, 45 degree angle exposed. 
So I have thought about it. Um, it might be good insurance just to do it now, but I'm gonna let these sit up and do their thing and we'll just observe. You know, we still got some time. There's, they'll be small when they get here. We can always add that in later. And I didn't do a whole lot of filming into it, but the, uh, the gate was yanked off because we took a section of hog panel that was cut when we did the perimeter and I uh, trimmed it up and then welded it onto the uh, gate frame so I can get that hung today. We can get a little bit more picked up out here and get these ladders pulled out of here and whatnot. I still got some T-posts we need to tie into the hog panels, but for the most part, we're, we're inching closer and closer for all of you that have been supporting us and giving us ideas and um, helping us out along the way. It's very much appreciated. Um, you'll, you would see that there's a extra piece that I added on top of that uh, cross cross piping. Um, Chrissy and I talked about it and we made a last minute decision that we were going to add a spigot to the top of this. And then we'll get a, um, like a hose reel deal that we'll, uh, we'll put up there on that six by six post as well. So if I come park the tractor over here or if in the future our buddy lets us borrow his trailer, we can pull whatever it is we need up into here and then kind of hose all that stuff down, clean it up. We can maybe set a sprinkler up off of that and run that sprinkler into there so that the hogs get kind of a, uh, a muddy, you know, mud hole for them to waller in. So we try to take everything into account. Uh, I'm sure we missed something, but uh, you know, we're still learning. If y'all enjoyed this video, uh, please give us a like, subscribe to the channel. If you are not, I, I read the analytics the other day. There's like 90% of the people that watch our videos are not subscribed. And it kind of sucks because it, the more subscribers we get, it, it grows the channel. It, it, it puts us in front of other people that may not see these videos. And um, that's what helps us get our content out there. That's what helps us market uh, when, we're, when we're big enough to start selling more pigs. So it, it's, it's not just YouTube, it also helps us um, in the business world also. So keep us in mind. Uh, if you wanna support us, hit that subscribe button. It costs you guys absolutely nothing. And again, it, it means absolutely everything to our channel and to the business that we're trying to build here for our family and uh, you know future generations. So anyways, we're gonna uh, finish up this video here. Thank you guys again for sticking around. Thank y'all for watching us and we'll see y'all in the next one.